Alpha Beta Chi on Channel 5 News. Today's December 2nd and the stories are flying in. Yeah, we do have a lot of numbers to story today, so make sure you stay tuned. But before we get into that, some of our viewers are wondering about all those that were being persecuted. We well, do have an update on that, so let's cut to that first. If you take a look at these maps, you can see that the ones persecuted have spread to Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch. Now on Barnabas, he went to the Church of Antioch very recently. Here's a quote from him. I have seen the evidence of the grace of God. I am glad and I encourage them all to remain true to the Lord with all their hearts. Anyways, later, he went to Tarsus to find the man Saul. He was successful in the shirts and they both went to Antioch to preach in the church. Word from the local people say that many views of Barnabas, many view Barnabas as a great man and by this, many are coming to this man called Christ. Actually, a lot of men are saying that these people coming to Christ are called Christians. Clever, no? Yeah, they must have really been thinking outside the box. But we interrupt our program for a very important commercial break. Hello, I am Agabus from Jerusalem. And I have come to tell you that the Spirit has told me that there will be a great family all over the world. Now, I beg of you, for your family, your friends, your children, to come to Oivoy Supermarket, where there are phenomenal prices on all sorts of food. I beg of you, come. And we also thank the disciples for providing the vast amounts of food for us. Thank you. Well, that was quite urgent. I suggest that everyone follow Agabus' advice. Yeah, you wouldn't want to die of hunger or anything. It could happen. This just in. James's dead body was found on the street. One of our reporters is with the police officer now. Officer, could you tell us what's going on? I'm sorry, I cannot give you that information right now. Uh, but our viewers are eager to find out what happened to James. Uh, he is a leader of a group of people that follow this Jesus guy. I cannot tell you what happened here. His Majesty King here told me not to tell anyone. Oh, why is James's head cut off? Uh, I can't tell you that either. Why is there so much blood on the ground? That's since they're government information. Why have you chopped out James's body? I thought that only happened when someone was uh, a poisoned or burned. I can't tell. Oh, fine. Yeah, I know. You can't tell me. You're very boring. Whatever. Cut. Also, along with the murder of James, it seems like Peter has been arrested by Herod. Why in the world would he do that? He's got blood on his hands already. Oh, well, I'm guessing he did it to make the Jews happy. James's death went over well, so why not arrest Peter? Well, it happened during the Feast of Unleavened Bread and he plans to put him on trial after the Passover. I would just wish we could let him know we're thinking about it. Well, the church is praying for him, for sure. This just in, folks. Some brand new footage from Peter in prison. How do we get this footage? I'd rather not get fired. All right, play the tape. Well, so much for that. Yeah, I guess we can move on to our next story. Whoa, wait a second. Peter! 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 Hey! Peter! 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 Get up! Put on your cloak! We need to leave! Come on! On the cloak! Put it on! 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 Yes, you are still asleep. Let's go! Come on! Wait! Get a camera over there ASAP! Okay. Angel, isn't this a dream? No. Surely the Lord has delivered me from prison with his angel. Peter, if we could just have a word. We're from Alpha Beta Chi, and we're very curious on how you got out. Well, are you in prison now? Will you be imprisoned again? Are you considered a fugitive? I kind of got slept up by an angel. I guess I'm a fugitive. Do you think I can get it soon? Uh, where are you going now? Are you scared of being imprisoned again? I'm going to Mark's mom's house. She, I'm, I'm hungry, and she makes a mean falafel. Were you mistreated in prison? Or son, I would have in prison. Mm. You, you are the one who answered the door when Peter came in, right? Yeah, super cool. I was like, OMG, it's Peter. He's supposed to be like locked up. Oh, uh, yeah. So why did you let him in? Well, IDK, I was like so excited. Like, I couldn't believe it. So I was like, I had to go text my girlfriend that I saw Peter, but she was like, you crazy girl. And I was like, no, I'm not. But he was out there a long time. And I was like, no way. But I heard him, and I'm not crazy. And Peter was like pounding on the door. So finally I let him in. I was like, oh, MG, it's actually Peter. And I tried to get to talk to him to 
what like actually happened, but he was like, I don't want to talk to you. And I was like, fine, whatever. And he went to go eat with like Mary and all them. But maybe if Peter had emailed me, it all would have worked out. I have to go back to work. I have to clean the bathrooms. Well, that was um, interesting. Anyway, now we're going back to our correspondent on the scene of Peter's breakout. Uh, hopefully Harry will choose to share his feelings. I'm here at the scene of the jailbreak. Tell me, Herod, how do you feel that one of your high priority prisoners has escaped? How do I feel about this? Get that camera out of my face! I'm one of my best guards guarding that cell. Guard! Yes, sir. Where were you when the man escaped? I was standing by, sire. Then why is he not here? I, I, I Kill him! I don't really know. Oh, yes! Ah! You see this boy? His name is Jose, and he has been starving for five days. His parents left him at a construction site, and he needs your help. Show that you love by loving this child. Jose, do you have anything to say? Who are you? This, this, this commercial's over. That was... So sad. Yeah, Herod doesn't care very much. Well, yeah, speaking of Herod, he has a very special announcement. Um, at the moment, he is having an audience with the people of Tyre and Sidian. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on. Well, look at him in his spiffy royal robes. Let's stay focused, shall we? Ladies, gentlemen, for the longest time, we have been fighting this famine. And now, it is time for us to come together as a country and just strive to break this famine. That way, we can all never be hungry again. Oh, he's such a saint. Wait, hold on. I think the crowd is saying something. This is the voice of a god, not man! Well, that was a bold statement. Yeah, no kidding. Who would ever say that? They must be stoned. Is that supposed to be a joke? No, but it's funny anyway. No! <laughs> Uh, well, this is, uh, no longer suitable for women and children. I think Herod's broadcasting dates are over. As we come to the end of our program, we turn back to the map. We have some final news on Barnabas and Saul. Barnabas and Saul have finished their mission and are coming back from Jerusalem. John, who is also called Mark, is coming back with them. That's all for today. Please tune in next time to Alpha Beta Chi. Always entertaining, always exciting. You know it. So cheesy, I love it. <laughs> well, it, it happened during the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and he plans to put him on the drive to the past. <laughs> this is so cheesy. <laughs> That's, no, that's it, that's it. Cheesy, stop! That's it, cut, cut. That's all for today. Full zoom looks on the album. You know the article? To Oive Supermarket. Are incredible prices. Oh, that's not my line. Donkey! Oh, people! Yay, people! This doesn't look like preaching. Peter! Peter! <laughs> I can't stop <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Yes! <laughs>